If Alexandra starts putting points in science, I'm gonna get salty. <laughs> yeah, like oh, no. like I can I considered with this getting like some sort of merit to help me be less squishy in combat, and I was like, why the fuck would Easter have that? So I took more dots in occult and politics. <laughs> Um, no, I, I wasn't actually planning on spending one dot in all the skills. I just was like looking at it, and it's like, wow, that's a good investment. That comparison in the most. Uh, things. I'm so torn. Fuck it. Just Final answer. Just do it. Uh, so that's nine plus. Three is twelve, so it's minus eleven leaves me with four. That's two times neutron, so I can actually get. Fast reflexes. Oh, I should buy a giant. That would make sense. Unfortunately, you cannot acquire a giant. I'm kidding, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Okay, I should assume you're smarter than that, but you never know. No, it was just like. I thought that would make sense. Was would have would have tipped it off. But I guess. Hey, I found the specified target rules. Torso is minus one. Leg or arm is minus two. Head is minus three. Hand is minus four. And eye is minus five. Nice. Well, it just added two to my initiative mod. So. Congratulations. Let's see how that goes. Oh, there's a penalty for shooting into close-range combat. You can ignore that. <laughs> whether you're in short range or whether someone else is. Like, if, if Easter is in melee with someone and you want to shoot that person, then you're, you, you'll be like, I get a minus two unless I want to shoot Easter right in the ass. Please don't shoot Easter right in the ass. She can't take it. It's okay, just go to your vampire sugar mama and become more emotionally dependent. So basically what iron stamina, if I up my iron stamina to three, that is, I am just about dead and I am still operating without any penalties. Yep. That sounds appropriate, actually. I, uh, I wouldn't know anything about doing that. Not, <laughs> not one bit. I certainly haven't abused the same thing. It also means you get to stay up for three days at a at a stretch. Yeah, again, it's, she she already had iron stamina one, so I, I it's, you know, it is uh, appropriate. And this time I'm not joking. Huh. All right, what the fuck was my okay, cool. And, and also, if I just happen to coincidentally be barraged by a hail of bullets, I, I can run away while while like dying <laughs> well it's funny how that works we'll get to that later now could everybody send me a private message with your vice and virtue i know you did already but i forgot it since that was uh three weeks ago uh, that is oh. okay <laughs> why am i asking you this don't worry about it uh... it's, a, it's a secret tool to help us later Ex you see easter gets it <laughs> Oh, man. Yusuf, have you considered that anything can be bought and sold for the right oil? Oh, boy. Don't say that too loud. The U.S. military will show up. <laughs> oh, no. They're going to have to liberate my country. Get my oil <laughs> reserves. <laughs> but we have the oil reserves. I'm just wondering, when are we going to uh, liberate Canada for its um, uh, for its maple syrup reserves? Ah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> um, well, that... I mean, there was that movie Canadian Bacon. What? Yeah, 
it, it's never going to happen. Um, New Hampshire has too strong a maple syrup lobby. They wouldn't allow it. <laughs> Damn. Oh, upset. Canadian maple syrup. Forbidden fruit. You know that that would be blocked right in the Senate. It's true. <laughs> this presupposes that this will be a war that goes through the Senate. That seems to be very out of vogue lately. <laughs> I suppose if Trump decided he wanted cheaper maple syrup, anything's possible. And he looks <laughs> like he likes his maple syrup. Oh my goodness. So I guess we can be glad that he appreciates grease more than he likes sugar. Mm, that's true. He doesn't really like his grease. However, however, donuts would seem to be like a, a interesting You know, there are maple glazed donuts. Oh, God. Don't let them know. Don't Which nobody gives, tell them that. Gives you a lot of grease and sugar. I know, right? This might be the two great tastes that fucking give them a goddamn heart attack. It's getting lost. Jeez. So, frankly, I I I am suspecting he's he's had some many strokes along the way. I, I heard a bigger one. I, I heard that he he was hospitalized not a few weeks back. I don't know. He seems like mentally well put together. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I couldn't. I couldn't finish that sentence of the street. Yeah, I know. It's it's. You get to the point where the joke just dies in your mouth. <laughs> Twenty years ago, he could uh, he could string words together in a coherent sort of way, and even put paragraphs in, like have an entire conversation. Where he didn't contradict himself or seem like he was nuts. Right. So. so so I zoned out for the first part of this conversation, and I'm literally not sure if we're talking about Biden or Trump right now. Hey. <laughs> I was going to make a reference about how Biden has also had a, a, a cognitive decline, but um, uh, uh, Pidge did better than I ever could. <laughs> All I'm going to say is false equivalency in terms of just compare like a speech from Biden versus a speech of Trump, and you know, I, I mean, you can't you, you can't really put them in the same in the same. Yeah, realm. they are not in the same bracket of cognitive decline. Like Biden is bad, but Trump is so much worse. Now, like, yes. what you have to do is you have to. In my in in my experience, you have to read them. Like if you read what Biden is saying, for the most part, it's on the ball. He, yeah, like, he like I can stumbles. I can follow along with what's supposed to be happening there. Yeah. Right. He mumbles and stumbles, but he doesn't really he doesn't really lose the threat. Right. That doesn't uh -huh. happen very often. But when you read what Trump says, it's fucking insane. It, it, it meanders and wanders and gets lost and goes out for. Well, I, I remember uh, reading about how that's that's a very deliberate tactic, in that he basically just throws in words and uh, trusts that the people that want to listen to him will draw their own conclusions from them, and that those conclusions will be the ones that he wants them to draw. Like, oh, you see what happened over in China. And his followers immediately fill in the blanks with, oh, uh, communism bad, China bad, debt bad, Mexicans bad, you know, like that. I, I, I mean, it, it's, it's one of those, one of those age old, age old questions is, do you assume that, do you assume that someone, it, because someone has an effective strategy that, that works in certain, in certain cases, is it a conscious strategy, or is it just something mm. that they have to stumbled across? One hundred percent. Are they doing yeah. it deliberately, or did it did did it catch the zeitgeist? Is it what the people want? Yeah, basically. I mean, that, so uh, in in Trump's case, I, I've seen lots of signs of cunning. I haven't seen a lot of signs of strategy. Um, he he's someone who's very good at taking advantage of situations, but he doesn't seem to create the situations. He's just incredibly dexterous at wriggling his way through the you know through a, a minefield i mean like this is the guy who said what if we nuke a hurricane <laughs> to which his oh advisor said we're looking mm -hmm. into it 
I feel like the White House is just a bunch of people walking up to each other saying, we're looking into it, we're looking into it. Just desperately trying to avoid bad topics until Trump just forgets that they were a thing. Because that happens. If you don't bring I mean, up something he, you don't want him to do, he will forget about it. If you just said MOB instead of nuclear bomb, I would have been like, well, he knows what an MOB is, so that's, you know, that's something. Um, I don't know. I, I, uh, it's beautiful. Is everybody has everybody finished their character advancement? Yes, sir. Yep. Marvelous. Let's begin with gunfire. Run, running, looking for cover. <laughs> well, the good news is you only take one point of damage from a little three-shot burst from from a machine pistol. Oh, okay. Um, and you uh, are able to de uh, dexterously run around the side of the building. That being said, uh, make a willpower roll. No oh, firearms, you are always handy. Are you saying this as being against my uh, virtual advice? We'll see how well you roll in your willpower, and you'll see what you can figure out. <laughs> All right, two, two successes. Two successes. Well, I wasn't planning on running away forever. I just didn't want to be walking into a hail of bullets. No, so. no, no, no. What is the answer to the question? Dun, dun. It depends on who you ask. I'm asking you. <laughs> There's a right answer and there are wrong answers. Oh. Today is a good day. <laughs> Didn't they figure out... Uh, lose a point of willpower. Not permanently. Just not, not, you know what I mean. Oh, tiny. Hello, little fella. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a while. Woo! That is exactly what he's working with. That is a beast. Um, so as you go around the corner, uh, Lamar looks to his buddies, he's like, anyone who's strapped, stay out here. Go in, get your guns if you don't got them. Stick together. Do not split up. Fuck, he's smart. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like he's been expecting this or something. From what I heard about this guy, I don't I don't have a particular his stuff doesn't doesn't raise Alexander's hackles particularly. No. But you are currently possessed by a singular impulse. Ah. There is only one way to end the circle of violence, Alexandra. Done. <laughs> Um, that being said, um... I, now, I guess in, in that case, I'm assuming, I'm assuming my war form as this, as I am around this corner. <laughs> uh, the rest of you chowderheads pull up. Werewolf gonna die. <laughs> eh, 
Not necessarily. Uh, 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 so, h- how many guys were out there before? It was three of them that were out there. Lamar oh. came out. Um, it, it may be relevant. I do have I do have the indomitable, the merit. Oh shit, that does help. I uh, think that gives me two extra dice or something. Yeah, uh, make another willpower roll. Uh, so instead, I'm going to give you a willpower roll every turn to break the effect. Um, I think that gives me a plus two. My dice, too, right? On that supernatural stuff? You've got a choice. You can either get oh. a a repeating roll against ongoing effects, or you can get a plus two on one roll to resist. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll take the repeating. And... That time, it is three successes. Three successes. Okay, so everybody roll Here's initiative. Here's the willpower. Sorry, roll initiative? Yes. Got it. Do we roll a fiscal die for this one? There it is. Initiative is... Six. Initiative, okay. Oh, seven. Crap. I've got an eight. <clears throat> I have a plus six initiative, and I have I got a seven. <laughs> I am I am so sorry. That's okay. I, rolled, I rolled a six, and I have a plus eight. So. Ah! <laughs> Alex Alex is distracted by the dark voice. <laughs> she, she, she's she's got a little thing some things going on now. Uh, you have engaged this entity in a battle of wills. This turn, your will will be your own. I cannot say what happens next turn. Uh, Yusuf, it's your go. Uh, the four of you roll up in your... What was it? Akia? Sedan? Sedan. I think we're in the sedan. Sedan. We're definitely in the sedan. All right, so in that case, I probably haven't assumed the war form yet. Uh, no, okay. not yet. But the urge okay. was there, very present, and it was... It's tricky. Yep. Got it. So, Yusuf, what do? I'm second drawing myself a little mock-up map of where these guys are. So we pull up in the car, and uh, where's the nearest building that I can conceivably get to for some cover. Um, uh, there is a building across the street from theirs. Um, it's not great, but you could conceivably take cover on one of the stoops. It's not going to give you a whole lot of cover, but a little bit is better than none. Uh, similarly, they are two by two. The other six have gone in to get their gubbins. Okay, so there's four outside? Yes. And six inside. Okay. But the puppy dog just wants to play. <laughs> then, because I don't know where Alex is, I'm going to exit the car and go to that little bit of cover to try and not be in something that could explode if they open fire on us. Sounds good. Smart man. The odds of your car exploding are very low. I don't believe in that. But I mean, you will immediately perish. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, somebody get me the Obama eyes. No. Okay. Uh, you are successfully in cover. Uh, would you like to attack? Hello? Yeah, I'll um I'll draw my gun and Actually, fire. Pardon me. What's your speed? Oh, my speed. Right. I might not be able to to do that. Yeah. Uh, speed is nine. Yeah. No. Sorry, mate. That's fine. Um, it takes you just a little bit too long, and unless you want to be standing out there like a sitting duck in order to attack, it. it nope. Would be I'd wild. rather um just look like some civilian who wants to be nowhere near here for now. Fair enough. You do not seem too out of sorts. 
Um, the jackals go. They all... Uh, uh, the, the three other guys have Glocks. Only Lamar has a machine pistol. Yeah. Uh, but they all open fire on the black dog. The one Lamar dreamed of. Oh, God. Um, I, I am in the alley, so they have, they, they've moved to the opening of the alley. Oh, right. You, you, you ducked into the alley. Yep. Um, in which case... Uh, Lamar is going to make a wits and empathy roll in the car, uh, towards the car that just rolled up. Um, very well then. Um, uh, Easter, uh, Holmes, each of you give me a manipulation and, uh, presence and subterfuge. You got it. Presence and subterfuge. All right. But it's not a chance die. Yay. Yay. Nothing. Oh. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I got one success. Ah, congratulations. Uh, they realize that this car is involved in things and they open fire on it. Uh, ah, son of a... Not my sedan. <laughs> oh, I got some bad news about your sedan, my dude. Uh, the good it, news is... It's no longer... <laughs> it's still on the warranty. Uh, the good news is none of you yep. get hit in the ensuing barrage. The bad news is the vehicle takes uh, 11 points of structural damage. So oh, it's a convertible. God damn it. Let me look the, up. the top only goes up halfway now. Uh, let me look up. Uh, <laughs> vehicle rules to, just to determine like how much health this thing has at which point because this is an action movie it will explode that's my, oh, that's my favorite thing about world of darkness is world of darkness is like yes we are an action movie act accordingly right like <laughs> what do you mean vehicles explode just like yeah man it just explodes how i don't know I've seen this movie. The car explodes. Um, sample vehicles. So we've got a mid-sized car, sedan, which gives it a durability of three, a size of 12, and a structure of 15. Okay, this thing took more damage than I thought it did. All right. Um, Goodbye, sedan. Uh, yeah, the, the sedan is in a very bad way. Um, uh, like, uh, the two tires on its left side have been popped. Um, the and gas tank probably has to have a couple of holes with, with gas, you know, gas pouring out. Now. Yeah, gas is pouring out. Uh, thankfully, the doors did a good job of keeping you guys safe. Unfortunately, the door controls have been totally fucked. You think they even got the radio? <laughs> no. Someone shot the antenna. It's 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 it was an hard. MP3. <laughs> uh, but initiative marches on. Uh, thankfully, the car doesn't explode. Easter, it's your turn. All Shit. right. Oh my god, yes, that is what happens to this car. I got Jesus. you, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm here for. Am I thinking that, um, uh, that it would be better cover for me to kind of slip out the back of the door and use the whole body of the car for cover instead of just one wall? Uh, unfortunately, this is an action movie. This car is is deadly close to exploding, and the only cover has got Yusuf in it. Fair. Yeah. Can we... Is the car, uh, like, move forwardable? Um... It might not start, but if he puts it in neutral, it might be able to be moved. All right, Easter uh, leans forward and pops the car in neutral. It begins rolling forward ominously. <laughs> Are you going to TF2 this car? <laughs> oh, yes. <no. laughs> Have you guys ever seen a car well and truly on fire? Yes. Yes. 
But by all yes. means, post your post your reference. Oh no! I actually woke up one night when I was staying at my sister's house, and there was a someone someone dumped a car outside her house. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh. It was um it was disconcerting to see the the blazing flames <laughs> and the tires exploding. Oh my God! Oh. Now, have yeah, I yep. ever told you the tale of Zachary Lefebvre and the arsonist? No. Okay. I'm strapping myself in. Please pardon the uh, the brief intrusion. So my cousin Zach hit a really rough patch in his life when he was like around 22, 23. You know, he, he cycled through a bunch of dead-end jobs. And um, his parents gave him a hand-me-down car. Like two of the doors didn't work. Like the thing was having real trouble. And he parked it in the Canal Street parking garage. And um, there came a day where he went to go retrieve it to go to work, and it wouldn't start. He left it in the Canal Street parking garage for one month, two months, three months. <laughs> Every day that goes by, he's worried he's going to get that knock on his door. Telling him that his vehicle's been towed, you're going to have to pay for it, it's been in there for so long, blah, 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 blah. So three months later, he gets that knock. You know that knock. The cop knock. We've all heard it. We all fear it. And yeah. <laughs> he's in his pajamas, smoking weed, playing his Xbox. He puts the weed out. He opens up the door. And he's ready. To, he's ready to face the fucking music. You know what I mean? Like, there's there's no lie. There's no white lie that you can tell to get out of this. Like, they got the receipts, man. Are you Zachary Joseph Michael Lefevre? I am, sir. Do you own a black Kia down at the Canal Street parking garage? Yes, I do, sir. Some bastard chucked a firebomb in it tonight. <laughs> to which he responds the fucking barbarians in this town he's like we're very sorry we'll reimburse you for the cost of the vehicle we just wanted to make sure that it was yours and so uh, they cut him a check for a couple of grand nice God. Wow. <laughs> incredible what a good story <laughs> <laughs> It's it's one of my personal favorites. I love it. And not just because it has a happy ending. Uh, oh. So, back to combat. Holmes, you are in uh, the passenger seat of this shot-up car. Um, Easter has put it... Has put it uh, you're, you're in the one of the back passenger seats. The back right passenger uh, seat, just for the sake of benefiting you cool yep. um easter has jumped over the the front set passenger seat to keep moving along with the uh slowly rolling uh sedan holmes what will you do i get out of the vehicle before it explodes <laughs> good call it's much easier to survive an explosion when you're outside of it yes um i now... to run cover <laughs> uh are you going to just like run for some place on the street with your grand yep sounds good uh make a make a wits and composure roll okay oh boy this is gonna get dicey <laughs> we ain't going broke mario we already there oh Oh, zero. Oh, boy. Uh, you find a lamp post? That will protect you. <laughs> protect me, Cone. <laughs> um, uh, uh, make a wits and firearms roll. Wits and firearms. Okay. That'll be better. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wits. Five dice. Let's hope this goes better. Two successes. There we go. Uh, going prone. That helps. Yes, go prone. 
Going prone. <laughs> you go ah! prone behind the lamppost. It's awful cover, but hey, at least you remember to hit the dirt. Yep. And what's your speed? Uh, my speed. What is my speed? Ah, uh, it's under. Yeah, the speed of eight. Oh yeah, no. Uh, you do not have enough time to pop off an attack. That's fine. It, as barely... long as I'm safe. Yes, you barely have enough time to waddle your way over to this fucking lamppost and hit the dirt. And then it went kaboom. <laughs> Derek, it's got to be weird playing a character slower than you are in real life. I've seen you jog. You can move, man. Yeah. And, oh man, are, am I in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Alex, it's your Already out of breath. Alex. <laughs> You have um, be, you have successfully resisted the dark voice for this turn, but it is working its hooks into you. Um, all of your spirit guides shriek about the worm's latest attack. Um, can I try to focus my defenses with my shamanic skills? You may. And if possible, extend them to the others. I don't know if that's if that's even in the realm of possibility, but if it is, I would try. You can protect yourself, or you can protect someone else. Sadly, you do not have the abilities to do both. Um. The uh, what? What's the leader's name again? I have it written down somewhere. Lamar. Could I protect Lamar? You could try. Now, admittedly, if I get taken over, then things get really ugly. Right. <laughs> so you reach out and soothe uh... Lamar's mind as well as you can. Um. Uh, Yusuf, make a uh, wits and empathy roll. Wits and empathy roll. Two and two. That is one success. One success is enough. Cool. Um, Yusuf, you might be a cryptographer, but you do have military experience, right? Yeah. You know that moment before a ceasefire begins. Um, the gritted teeth and combat high give way to some sort of calm, not, not a calm clarity. Cause that can come with a combat high, but you know what I mean? There's a, there's a point where the shooting is going to stop where they raise their hand with the fist. That means we're not shooting anymore. That moment is going to come. Okay. What do you want to do with your action? I am not going to draw my gun. I'm going to signal to Easter to um, come over here where I am. All right. Uh, the jackals go. Lamar gives the signal to hold fire and openly says, hold fire. What's going on here? Holmes, put your gun down. Um, what? I'm on the I'm on the pavement. <laughs> yeah, but you do have your grand. You could push it away from yourself. At least flip the safety on or something. I'm going to put the safety on. <laughs> uh, that being said, Alex, give me another willpower roll. <laughs> Um, can I spend the point of willpower to give myself uh, you more may. dice? What? How, what is? How does that work? How many dice? You'll get I... three extra dice. Three extra dice. Okay, do that. Because this would really kind of be bad. Yeah, this is a good time to spend willpower. I think. <laughs> Oh. 
Okay. Um, five successes. Critical success. I had one. I had a ten and a and a nine, and then I rolled the ten over three times. <laughs> Such things Holy have happened shit, dude. before. You banish the dark voice from your mind. You know what it is. No reason to listen to a foul agent of the worm. Uh, Lamar sends the rest of his boys inside and he's like, Do you mean to tell me this was a social visit? <laughs> I'm not, still a wolf form. <laughs> not quite. But I think that we should talk. And we should probably talk about the scorpions. Yes, let's start with that. What do you got to say let's... about the scorpions? I was under the impression they'd sent you here to kill me. No, the scorpions are dead. Um, Alex will assume human form. We come around <laughs> the corner, naked white girl. Uh... Our, uh, our food is here. I will be right back. Understood. Uh, Lamar looks at all of you. If he's so dead, what was in his safe? What was his prized possession? We did loot, right? You did loot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alex cracked the safe. Um... Yusuf laughs. <laughs> A signed copy of Mein Kampf that we promptly mm. dunked in a vat of bleach. Uh, make a, uh, presence and, uh, persuasion roll. I can do that. <laughs> One success. One success <laughs> is better than no successes. Well, you guessed right, at least. Okay, so let's say that you killed him. I'm assuming that leaves the possibility that you're here to muscle in on our territory. But there's only four of you, and I'm pretty sure that bitch just turned into a dog and then turned back into a bitch. <laughs> Do we look like the kind of people who have the time to run a security racket? Maybe. I don't know what kind of people no. you are. No, we're not that kind of people. Um, am I having to maintain concentration on for keeping him from the uh, that voice? You realize you don't. Now there's obviously something not quite normal going on here. Yeah, I know. He Papa talks about it all the time. Who does? Papa. My, my pop. Uh, uh. Shit. <sighs> okay. Pardon me for being a little trigger happy, but... Mm, sorry about the car is what I mean. Okay. Set your guns down into it and we can talk. Use of nods. And walks over to the bullet-rattled car. Oh, I thought it exploded. <laughs> no, not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> and thankfully, it's not going to. The gas tank has been perforated, but uh, there, there, it hasn't ignited yet. In Grand Theft Auto terms, it's smoking, but not on fire. <laughs> Do all of so you... Uh, toss your weapons into the back seat of the busted sedan. I'm not carrying any. Yes. Fair enough. All right. Um, he uh, ejects what? the nearly empty magazine of his machine pistol, catches it, puts it in a little fanny pack. Uh, Was he under attack before? When I when I intervened, or was or, or would he have behaved this way anyway? That's a good question. Uh, do you ask him? Mm, uh, I I I'm wondering if I know. 
Uh, no, you don't. Um, he puts the machine pistol into a little holster and pulls out a revolver. And he's just like, all right. Say that you dreamed of me. Yeah. What was the dream? All I know is that you're a warrior. The Grim. Great big black dog. They're for fighting. They're not for anything else. Papa told me. Who is Papa? My pop. He's old as fuck and twice as dangerous. Sort of. He knows a lot of things. Mom was in a New Orleans hoodoo and he's uh, kept up a lot of the old traditions, if you know what I mean. Yes, I think I do. Yeah. Do you know that there's something here? That's what he's been saying. How do you and he feel about it? Uh, he wants to destroy it. I don't want to take the risks, quite frankly. I'm not entirely sure it exists. All I know is that those scorpions are a, si are a thorn in our fucking side and they hate us because our skin is black and they think that they're the master race. It's not a problem. Wow. They're dead. You're right, I am a warrior. And maybe I am only for fighting, but I'm not for fighting you. I'm for fighting it. We'll see what Pop thinks. Well, you've effectively disarmed us. May we meet him? Three of you can. She stays out here. You may find what I have to say more, more, most interesting. Make a uh, manipulation and persuasion roll. <laughs> I believe in you. Sure. Fuck. I have to keep that die. One success. One success. One success is one success. He looks at you and he says, fine, but if I say you fucking twitch, I'll put a hole in you. I really was thought that was not going to work. <laughs> um, uh, the, uh, the four of you are welcomed into the building. You, uh, you all each have an escort guard. Uh, they, they... <laughs> Hopefully, I have I have clothes to put on from uh, from. Uh... I'm sure that Easter has has yeah. some for you. You equip shorts and tank top. It preserves your modesty at the very least. Uh, I just don't want them staring at me. Mm. Alex, make a wits and composure roll. Uh, um, three, three successes. There's not a lot of men who pack, who, who load their revolvers with silver bullets. Oh. You can smell it. You can feel it. What time of the month is it? Oh, it's it's silver bullet time. It's 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 a silver bullet lunar year. Oh boy. Um, 
In the event uh, that any of you make a hostile action, uh, the guards will open fire, and Alex, the damage you take will be aggravated. Okay. Um, the the bullet that winged me before, uh, as I ran to the alley, was that um, silver, or was that normal? Just lead. So I, I healed from that within the first... Oh you know, yeah, was... you're all good. Uh, he brings you up to the second floor and uh, opens up the door. And inside there is some hollering. Lamar, is that you? Yeah, Pop, I got some guests. Oh, guests. Well, shit. Do any of y'all want a <laughs> cup of tea? Coffee? Maybe something a little harder? Tea would be lovely. Lisky. Good. Can I can I feel him? You may. I mean not physically, but you know. Right. There's power in this old man. Uh you don't know exactly what, but as they say, black don't crack, and today they mean it. Uh, so he puts the kettle on. So we got two for tea. Anybody else? Take a tea. Thank you so much. Three for tea. And you, miss? Yes. Alex, what did you request? I said, what were the options? Was it tea and coffee or just tea? There's tea, coffee, or something harder. Coffee. And Holmes, you asked for tea, right? I asked for something harder. Oh. I just lost a sedan. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, he pours two cups, two cups of tea, one cup of coffee, and Holmes, he pours you a highballer glass filled with rum. To oh, that would marks be. rums a drink the dead like best. You best remember that. Understood. <laughs> And he pours a glass of rum for himself and says, Now, I get the impression that uh, y'all wised up real quick. And he, like, gives, yeah. a, gives a knowing glare to his son, just like, mm. That we did? Yes, sir. Good. Something Don't was play. trying to make us fight. Don't play into its hands. We're trying to avoid that as much as we can. We'd like to help cleanse this place. I appreciate that. Now, I've been trying to get my boy to go down to that godforsaken building and lay down some goofer dust, but he ain't been willing to do so. So there's a center of all this? That there is. At least that's my impression. Hmm. That 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 project never was a good place. We tried to help them out. Be neighborly. Things never work. People at each other's throats. Until eventually the whole thing tore itself apart. So that's where it was born? What was that? Is that where it was born, then? Can't rightly say. I wonder if it caused it or was drawn to it. That's a good question. I've asked it often myself. Like, Lamar looks a little embarrassed. Like, like the opposite of when you learn that Santa is fake. Like, imagine learning that Santa is real. Oh! <laughs> nice. We don't have the 
the ability to harm it as long as it is like it is. We were thinking of feeding it to the point where it became physical. Do you have a better plan? I can contain it. That's about all I got. It's a quick fix. But it could buy you some time before you find something better. I think that would be best for everyone's sakes. We're spread a little bit thin. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, this is just about the last of it, so... Make it last. And mm. he... Uh, pulls out an old cigar. He gets up from the, the little kitchen table. So th- th- this man has just like a very small, very modest apartment. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is like a living room that's got a little TV and the comfy chair that leads to a little kitchenette with a with a with some cabinets and you know a sink and a stove and a fridge. And then there's another uh, closed room that leads to a bedroom. Uh, there's a little uh, there's a little area off to the side in the living room that's got like a little mortar and pestle and a little altar and all sorts of little tchotchkes and gubbins and stuff in there. And he reaches into a little compartment and he pulls out an old cigar box. And he opens it up and it's filled with dirt. Well, it's not just dirt. There's a bunch of stuff in there. Now this here is goofer, is goofer dust. I've sanctified the entire project with it. Most of the neighborhood, too. So that means that my son, all the little friends, don't hear that thing talking. If you can create a circle around where it penetrates into our world, that'll keep it trapped for a little while, at least. Piece of nonsense. And he just says, when I say a little while, I mean like weeks. A little while, cosmically speaking. I should mention, this man is very old. Like, Lamar looks like maybe 20. And you know what it is. Like, a, a, a man can have kids no matter how old he is. And this dude is like pushing 70. Good on him. Yeah. And he was dating a 40-year-old, and she died in childbirth, but that's not important to the story. Lamar. Yeah? Hmm. Jackals are beasts that prey on the dead. And they were they're a terrible enemy for the scorpion. It doesn't seem like there need to be jackals here any longer. Something for you to think about, and something that would help us. Maybe. Still, I'd like to be properly equipped to protect the neighborhood in case something like that happens again. Hmm. I don't. But exactly it doesn't, doesn't need to be jackals who do that. I like jackals. They're bottom feeders. They know their place. They're not conquerors they're not leaders they do what's necessary and i'm only here to do what's necessary do you guys get what alex is trying to do yes no He's trying to stop the uh, apathy that they're creating by getting them to give it up mm. Well, I'm also trying to fulfill the letter of our contract. Oh. Oh, clever True. girl. Shall we track this thing down then? Yes. Let's do it. I'll take the dust if my gifts might help to place it. You're certainly the most qualified. Sniff, sniff. (laughs) 
I'm, I'm trying to figure out if the... Uh... Oh, I'll wait until we go outside. Uh, I'm about to say, do you leave oh. Pop's apartment, or do you have any more questions? Wow, that is... Uh... <laughs> Once we've done it, is there anything that we can do to secure a more permanent solution? Uh, Pop says... We Weeks uh, is not enough. I don't know too much about that. Sorry. That's the last of the dust. Me and my wife made it a couple decades ago. Oh. I can keep the neighborhood safe, in a manner of speaking, but I don't know how to kill a demon. And Lavar says, Pop, I thought we agreed we wouldn't say the D word. And like his lieutenants there are like, dude, this is fucked up. Lamar, your pop you pop your pop believes in demons, man. Would worm spawn be better for you? They all look at you and they're just like, What the fuck? <laughs> like you ever get that feeling that someone knows more than you? Often. <laughs> yes. We're all feeling it right now. Like, this naked it, lady. Who every time I'm dealing with a network problem at work, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this naked lady who turns into a dog is like, would you prefer worm spawn? And they're like, uh, I guess you know what we're talking about. <laughs> but, um... Alex, uh, actually, anyone who's interested can make an intelligence and a cult role. Yes, please. There we go. One. A success is a success. All right. Ten... Uh, Jesus. Nice. I got one. Sorry, what's the roll? Uh, intelligence and occult. Like the only intelligence roll Alex can make. <laughs> well, except for investigation. Wow, nothing. Womp womp. So, Holmes, Marius, and Yusuf, you all correctly identify uh, Lamar's pop as a hedge mage. He's not accomplished. He doesn't have a lot of power, but he is following the traditions accordingly, and he may not even understand the power that he wields. Uh, in short, the, the, the minor auguries and uh, sparse alchemy that he commits does indeed possess magical power. Just not very much. He knows some of the old ways. He knows some of the proper names to invoke. And he knows uh, some of the proper inventions of the old days. And he can use that to do things like make goofer dust, cast auguries, read dreams, and um, like invoke old... Uh, Scions. Do you have you ever made a sanctified weapon? Haven't. But I think I can. So long as you don't mind who's sanctifying it. And Lamar's like, pop, please, and he's like, Lamar, you You hush up. I'm talking shop here. Blade would be better than bullets for this, right? Nah. You want something blunt. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a cane or some such, would you? <laughs> Not exactly. Would silver be helpful? Nope. Shit. <laughs> 
I need something blunt and fancy. Hmm. I have some things at home, but not on me. Maybe it'd be best you go fetch them. That is a decent trip. <laughs> There's but well, we're... tonight. Maybe you could go to a little costume shop, buy something nice. It is around 3 o'clock in the morning, I believe. 24-hour pawn shop? 24-hour pawn shop! There's an idea. There we go. Actually, one of the places they do protection on is a pawn shop. (laughs) There we go. Do you want to go down to Rick's Quick Pawn? Yeah. Yes. Y'all tell Rick's, uh, y'all tell Rick I said hi. Will do. Tea is finished, coffee is consumed, and rum is left for later as the rest of y'all head down to Rick's Quick Pond. I'm hoping for a cricket bat. Um, <laughs> Rick's Quick Pond's got a lot of things, but a cricket bat ain't one of them. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh, mostly it's got used DVDs. <laughs> Who wants a copy of Big Money Rustlers starring the insane clown posse? Oh, pass. Uh-huh. Thank you. <laughs> um, anybody... Look, you can buy 12 for 5 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I once watched Aeon Flux, Rubber, and Big Money Rustlers in the same night. <laughs> You've got to understand. Oh, was, rubber, was the rubber the one with the the sentient tire? Yep, yes. That oh, being man. said, that movie is very, very good and very, mm-hmm. very interesting. Okay. Like, from from a purely, like, quite possibly Dadaist perspective. <laughs> yeah, like, if you accept the movie for what it is and go, oh, it's a deconstruction, like... You're going to have a good time. Right, because it's also a deconstruction of, like, what a movie is. Because the movie only exists so long as there is someone to watch it. And eventually, the antagonists of the film try to kill all of the witnesses so that the movie can end. (laughs) Okay, that's actually really cool. Yeah! Um, But... Anyway, yes, Rick's quick pawn. Rick is, uh, like, the doorbell rings, and Rick pulls a gun from under his desk on all of you and just says, Oh, good evening! How can I help you tonight? He's obviously pretty drunk. Evening, Rick. Um, Pop sends his regards. Oh, shit. Well, uh, you tell me what you're interested in, and uh, I'll call in that favor that I owe him. Or he'll call in that favor that I owe him. You know what I mean. Manger Square. Absolutely. Let's see. We're looking for something fancy that is useful for hitting someone very hard. Uh, I was waiting for you to say clubbing. <laughs> <laughs> We're going clubbing. <laughs> well, Not I, that kind of clubbing. Well, I've got something <laughs> kind of nice and fancy and blunt, if you catch my drift. Maybe this will do you? Yes. <laughs> oh, I think that will do quite nice. Normally Very nice. charge you 40, but... Uh, I'll pop, and, you know, the nightmare is a stop, so, uh, just take it and run, will you? Gratitude. Thank you. Don't tell no one I gave you this for free, you understand? Not a soul. I appreciate it. It it will be used for a purpose that will help you. (laughs) He, He shrugs like, whatever you say, kid. (laughs) um i i just sort of reach out feel if it seems like something appropriate to to give it a little bit of spirit oh it 
it fulfills all of the criteria. I can say that much. Well, I think we should return. Oh, I gotta hit the rest room real quick. Be right back. Same. Rather glad this didn't uh, turn into another shootout. You yeah. and me both. For your sake, Easton. <laughs> It didn't. Nothing we heard about them sounded like it made it necessary for them to die. No. However, it would be good if the jackals died. Yeah, I understood your meaning there. What was that? They're going to have to hang up their old title. If we can persuade them to, it would make our, our lives simpler. You say that they want to protect their community, but um, extorting people for money isn't the way to do that. No. Highway ro robbery might serve them better. What kind of robbery? Highway. Oh, goodness. Oh, wait a I work with my hands. I'm the highwayman. Giving me things we need. God damn it. I love The Last Dragon. Are y'all familiar with it? Ah. Uh. The the Bruce the the Bruce Lee like um, movie based on Bruce Lee's life that thing. No, um, this one is a. Oh, I don't know if it's black exploitation. I don't think it's technically black exploitation. Um, the point is, uh, so there's... it's 1985. Yes, there is a black karate master in Harlem <laughs> named uh, Bruce Leroy. Oh. <laughs> and he is being accosted by uh, another karate master in the neighborhood, Shonuf, the Shogun of Harlem. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. Um, and, like, what you need to understand is that Bruce Leroy has trained, like, his entire young life to attain a state known as the Glow. And, like, I don't know. Uh, the Last Dragon does something very interesting where, like, when Bruce Leroy finally fights Shonuff, um, as it turns out, Shonuff already has the power of the glow. Oh, fuck. Which is just like, what? Like, like yes, the glow is real, and Shonuff can do it. So Bruce Leroy needs to fucking learn how to glow real quick to defeat Shonuff. And just... Shonuff is so fucking cool. You like, see the, guy, the, the the cheetah belt with the little face. Yes. Just Shonuff is one of the most. I don't know. He's he, he's a great villain. Um, <laughs> like uh, when you first see Shonuff, he comes into a movie theater where Bruce Lee, Roy, and a whole bunch of people in Harlem are just watching a Bruce Lee movie. And he gets up on stage and he's like, Bruce Leroy, I've come to whoop your ass. And like, straight up, Shonuff just wants to beat up Bruce Leroy to prove that he can beat up Bruce Leroy. Because they say that Bruce Leroy is the toughest dude in Harlem and Shonuff is like, fuck that, I'm the baddest dude. But like, he's got four like cronies that he's trained in karate and like, they're all, like one of them is black, one of them is Asian and two of them are women. And he's just like, who's the baddest? And they all say, Shonuff? Who's the prettiest? Shonuff? Shonuff, the Shogun of Harlem. Like he's just—he's he, just a great villain. He's a great—he's a great bad guy. <laughs> it certainly doesn't hurt that he's like fucking six and a half feet tall. <laughs> and like, like the sub villain hires him to defeat Bruce Leroy, and then they fight. Oh, I'm sorry. He has six goons. 
But yeah, one of them was thoroughly hidden behind by his shoulder. Yeah. <sighs> But um, and the other one just resembles a mop that was left against the door. <laughs> <laughs> like shockingly, like the last dragon is just a fucking solid movie. It's not great by any stretch of the imagination. It's barely good, but like, it's good. It's a fucking damn good movie. Oh. Anyway. So oh no. Uh, Oh, by the way, have any of you guys been watching, speaking of martial arts stuff, have any of you guys been watching Cobra Kai? I have not. Nope. Did, uh, did you guys all grow up with the Karate Kid, or? No, yeah. but I've, I've seen it. Oh. Okay. Just curious. It's a yeah, TV series that's a, a 30 years later, a sequel to the Karate Kid. Ooh. Now, I'm only familiar with the, the music video, Sweep the Leg. By, uh, by, uh, oh, what is it? No More Kings? I think it's by No More Kings, which has a 10 years later in universe Cobra Kai situation. Well, the, the, uh, the protagonist of this is, is the villain from, from the Crowded Kids, so it's kind of funny. And they have a somewhat different perspective on the events that took place. Right, because, like, wasn't the karate kick illegal? I'm sorry, not the karate kick, the, the crane kick? Like, aren't you not, you're not supposed to aim for the face in the tournament, and fucking Daniel kicks him in the fucking face and gets the win anyway. Yep. And I mean, I yep. understand he sweeped the leg, and that was illegal, but two wrongs don't make a right, Miyagi. For someone who's only seen the video, you seem to know the story pretty well. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I have seen Karate Kid. Okay. And I do also cultural osmosis. Yeah. And I've also played the Nintendo game Karate Kid. Don't. Well, he, he, he's in it. <laughs> the uh, Ralph Macchio. <laughs> Ralph Macchio is the other main character, so it, he's he's in it too. It's very funny seeing him growing up. So if you want to experience some fucking nineties nostalgia suffering, Cobra Kai got it in spades. <laughs> Bringing Cobra Kai back. I swear Cobra Kai never come back to the valley. Anyway, so do you bring the cane to Pop? We do. Yeah. Yes. And he looks at it and he's like, oh shit. That's real fake gold right there. I can work with this. Hmm. And he takes uh, the bottle of rum. And he takes the cigar and he's like, Lamar, turn out the lights, will you? And Lamar turns off the lights and he's got his revolver trained on Alex. Sort of a, a Baron Samedi thing going on, but Alex wouldn't know that. Uh, I mean, you're saying that. And uh, so Pop starts his chant going. And like the entity himself appears. Oh. Hat and all transposes itself onto Pop's body. And oh, goodness. He blows smoke onto the cane and then takes a great big. Like when he starts lighting up the cigar and smoking, Lamar says, Pop, I thought you said you quit. And he's like, I did quit when your mom died, but if I don't have a cigar, I can't smoke one. <laughs> So Lamar's in. not seeing not seeing Baron Smitty in there? He doesn't seem to be he 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 may be tacitly ignoring it. Um but um yeah, Pop takes a takes a drag off of the cigar and blows the smoke over the cane and then takes a great big swig of 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 rum and then spits it over the cane. You have now a consecrated object. But everybody give me an intelligence and a cult role. Yes, please. Oh, fuck yeah. <clears throat> um, I don't sense any worm on him, right? No, 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 no. 
Samadhi is not an agent of the worm. Samadhi is certainly an agent of chaos. That's and, fine. And bedlam, but he's not he's not evil. He never means to do harm. Mm-hmm. Unless yeah, that's yeah, explicit that's what you're invoking him for. Oh, holy Alex crap. is fine with, with chaos and bedlam. <laughs> Holmes, did you get five? Yeah. Jesus. I've seen into the void. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, that's almost what I got laughed at the time when I got five successes. God damn. Well, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Uh huh. This cane is super effective at killing the dead. Ow. Ghosts, vampires, maybe Prometheans, anything, geists, anything that's supposed to be dead, this cane has dominion <laughs> over. Unfortunately, it will not do any additional effect against demons. Oh, wow. Um, I'm afraid I, I, I'm actually familiar with this ritual. Um, that's not going to work very well against demons, but it's really good against undead. Hmm. Uh, that's unfortunate, but really kind of cool still. <laughs> I'll, I'll just hold on to this. <laughs> Even if it won't help us kill it, it should help us in drawing the circle with more Thord. Well, I'm surprised it doesn't work. <laughs> well played. And like, like when when Pop is done, he he shakes it all off, and he's like, "Now, pardon me, I do believe I need to go to bed. It's getting a little too late for me, you understand?" He says, and there's like a cold sweat fucking drawing down his his cracked face. Of course, rest well. Do they ride you often? Hmm. Do they ride you often? No. Baron and I are old friends. Me and all the lower. The missus, the missus introduced us. Thank God for that. And he Let's takes, get this done. He takes the bottle of rum into his bedroom. And that's the last you see of Pop Lamar. And Lamar looks to all of you and just says, are you guys really telling me that you can maybe end whatever fucked up shit fucks up this neighborhood all the time? I'm telling you we're going to try. We'll be able to put a dent in the supernatural end of things. But if you really want to protect your neighborhood from mundane threats you might want to do it with a different approach that's what the racket's for we skim a little bit off the top to afford what we need unfortunately the only way you secure safety around here is down the barrel of a gun well if guns are what you need, there are there are a large number of them down the street now that you might want to uh, retrieve. You make a damn good point. We'll take care of that. You take care of this. Good luck. I do ask, as it would help us, if you could be, if you could reconsider changing that name. Sure. Uh, make a manipulation and persuasion roll. Uh, <laughs> oh, you gotta take a roll, but I got another ten. <laughs> that's like the third block roll I've made. 
Oh, fuck. One success. All right, we'll go incognito for a little while if it really means so much to you. Fuck it, I guess we don't need a badass name without the scorpions breathing down our necks. But as soon as someone comes up and tries to take us over, we're going to roll out the colors. You understand? It's fair. Sounds fair enough. Yep. Cool. Uh, so he and his crew go down to the scorpion's place to go pick up the guns, and you arrive at the burned out building that seems to I represent where the demon lives. I make a call beforehand. Do you call in your crazy Russian? I call in my crazy Russian. Would you guys, yeah. When you guys approach the burned out building, there is indeed a crazy Russian. <laughs> I, walk o- I, I, I walk over to him and um, just put a, a, a hand on his, uh, on his shoulder. Um, this is the place. Duh. We have a way of trapping it, but do you know anything of, of demons? I thought a few. They like fire. I don't. No one else does. Nothing I can't handle. I will try to seal it in. It may try to stop me. Um, all right, I'm going to try to uh, open my senses. Uh, if that means, like, I don't know, if I need to take drugs or whatever. Um, to, I'm not sure if I have some magic mushrooms hidden away in my, uh, in my dreams. <laughs> Um, How many dots do you have in resources? Not much. Oh, not well, much. shit. One dot in uh, resources will get you some drugs. About two. Nah, it's it only counts if Alex has them. <clears throat> but if you want to get some uh, magic mushrooms, Yusuf can get can provide a hookup. <laughs> What are you going to do to seal it? I, I show him the, the dust. If you want, I can do it myself. You have experience with this? Lay it in a circle unbroken. Simple stuff. Done it before. Let me take the wounds so you don't have to. Give me a day. What wound, is he, what wound is he talking about? Do I know what he's talking about? Um, he is supposing that the demon is going to attack, but once yeah. the goofer dust is laid, it won't be able to spread outside it. Right. He's willing to take those hits. I will, I will watch you back. Good. I appreciate that. And he takes off his jacket. He unbuttons every button. And he takes off his hat. And he's just wearing a fucking wife beater with suspenders underneath. Uh, But he doesn't drop his mailbag. And he's like, will somebody take my coat? Of course. You know what? I I, I know you posted a picture. But do you know who this guy... Hmm? I have to find a picture of the guy who I'm visualizing every time you, you talk. Yeah, because he doesn't look like that, but the uniform does look like that. And just like he is smoking like that. There are, there are a pile of sputtering cigarette butts next to him. He's only been here for five minutes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I was like, this is this is who I'm picturing. Oh, oh my me too. God. Ooh, Holy shit. This is the uh, most uh, Chernobog ass sounding motherfucker on the planet. 
have younger Fargo version in my in my mind of Peter's. I mean, I am so, I am so happy. That's so yep, weird. That's what I was picturing. It's canon. I was gonna say. I I guess that means that that Reynolds was effective in describing this individual to us, in that we all thought of the same person. I, I I mean he's definitely on the older side just because this is an old ass Promethean. I mean to be fair, I was not picturing that guy. I was picturing Ron Perlman from Enemy at the Gates. Oh, there there wasn't a sickle, but there sure was a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. God, I, I love that movie. Me too. Jesus Christ. Is that the one that's like Jude Law? Yeah. 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 And uh, Rachel Rachel Weiss. I don't even I don't think I've seen it, but Ron Perlman's in it. That makes me want to see it. I love it. It's Ron a Perlman. really yeah, good like if you like like sniper movies, it's really good. I don't know if I like sniper movies, to tell you the truth. It is not exactly that big a genre. <laughs> Would you I say mean, it's I, a setting movie yeah it's like i couldn't call it a war movie in good conscience i'd call it a cat and mouse yeah because it is like it's it's pretty intense I, I only remember the scene where the shooter is firing in pattern with artillery drop. Yes. So no one can hear him. Which is just like... Fuck, dude. Does anyone else join uh, Alexandra and Ivan as they go? Oh my god. And Ivan, as they go into the cursed building. Also, Ron Perlman. I know, that's the reason why. I said that. <laughs> yes. That's the but best Ron like... Perlman has ever looked, is as Vincent. What was that, Yusuf? Yep. What's the plan? Oh, that was an old show. Load my gun with compound rounds. That's a good idea. And I will go in as well. Easter's going in. Holmes, are you going in? I'm going in. I got my silver. Sounds good. Everybody um, goes in. Alex has her, her Bowie knife and her and, and her pistol. Um, and she's just wearing a yeah. She's just gonna stick with the tank top and jean in in shorts. It's getting a little too annoying. So Ivan's got the dust, and he's got his little mailbag with him. Uh, he leads you all into the burned out building. Everybody give me a wits and a cult roll. Gladly. You got it. Oh, thanks. I got one. Huh. Alex, you can feel it. The hate. Oh, fuck! The seething. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hate. Ruth Bader Ginsburg died. No! Oh, Jesus! Who? RBG! Fuck. The Supreme Court uh, judge. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's no good. No, we didn't need him to appoint another one. Uh, fuck. Uh, oh, that. You uh, know that they've been, uh, they've been waiting for this, like vultures. Jesus fucking Christ! Fuck my gay life. Literally two, two months. <sighs> Hopefully they can stall it. I don't think they will. Democrats okay. will leave in the process. 
Man, she was a great lady. I was hoping she'd get a retirement. Shit. Damn Five it. minutes ago, NPR. Just days before her death, as her strength waned, Ginsburg dictated this statement to her granddaughter, Clara Spera. My, mo my most fervent wish is that I will not be replaced until a new president is installed. Well, if that's not... If that's not an endorsement for Democrats to play obstructionist, I don't know what is. Right, uh, when, like, when a literal Supreme Court justice is like, dude. Dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> We just need to start doing loops of Mitch uh, of McConnell saying, "Oh, we can't appoint Gar, we can't appoint Garland because because it, it, it's like you know he, we're gonna have an election in in ten months or eleven months at that point, I think." Right. Uh, and, and it's just like it's two months, and your candidates are, are way behind in the polls, and you're probably gonna lose your seat. So, freaking hypocrite! You know you're gonna fight for it. Um. But I just hope that they do it on, on like, auto loop. Right, just play just, it over and over and over again. Just, like, but, you know, the, the problem is, is that from what I've seen, the current iteration of Republicans have no, have no hypocrisy radar at all. They don't even believe in the concept. Nope. It's, a, it, it's just like, they, it, it, they just think hypocrisy is winning. Um, and, you know, it's like the freaking... Um, you, you, when, when we let, um, uh, it, when, uh, when Al Franken, you know, the whole thing with Al Franken where it's like, oh, we have to, we have to nuke Al Franken because we'll be hypocrites if we don't. It's like, all they saw was, hey, we targeted this guy explicitly with one of our operatives. And guess what? They ate, they ate him when we chummed the waters. That was the, that was what the lesson they learned from that. So I mean, the the, the woman who accused Franken, she was a she's a she's a re Republican radio personality, like a you know Jesus Christ ex Fox News person. <sighs> Talk about a hit. I'm so fucking tired. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to rant. No, it's okay. It's fine. We're all on the edge of an earth together. This is explicitly a left-wing uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> hey, I'm a moderate. <laughs> oh my god, I've said that for years. <laughs> hey, it just happens to be, be that I'm a mod I'm moderate by European standards, not by American. Standards. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so. Calm down, so, Reynolds. Wipe the foam I, from your mouth. I, 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 I still think of myself as being a moderate. The world just happened to move too far to the fucking right. The Overton window is out of control. So, weren't where we about to phase off a fictional demon? <laughs> yeah, yes, as I, opposed I, I'm, to a literal one. Oh, it's just, I'm sorry. When I got that news flash that Ruth Bader Ginsburg died, it's just like my heart stopped. Yeah, that hit me like a torpedo, man. <laughs> Fucking stop the presses. RBG died. We gotta uh, wipe it all out. We gotta start over. Oh, fuck. I have to go get a drink. We need yeah, go. Let, yep. let, let's do, let's do make a toast to Ruth Bader Ginsburg before we, before we go. Uh, yeah, sense. hold on. Everybody get your, get your, get your booze ready. Pour one out for RBG. I gotta piss. Oh, she was such a brave little thing. Uh, right, she was like she was so tiny and so strong. Did you ever see those videos of her working out? No. Yeah, she she did weight training yeah, at eighty, you know, eighty six. That's awesome. Good on her. All right, this is a whiskey. Pure boredom.
I guess the other thing that's really hard about this is knowing how happy they're going to be. Like, I can just visualize Trump, like, just flavoring and being just, like, oh, yeah, finally. in the death of a little old lady. Uh, and, and, and I'd like to think that, they're, that, that, that these people have some humanity. I mean, if it's like George W. Bush, he'd be sad. Um, you know, I, I mean, he, a, a, as much as I dislike every Republican who's been president in my lifetime, um, I, I think honestly, any one of them would not be celebrating at this, except but for like, Trump and his, his crowd. Oh, Cap just brought me a, a little a little glass of Jameson. Absinthe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's drinking absinthe. Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> we need the fairies now. Which is why my glass is almost less full. I have some Knob Creek whiskey. I was saying, I've got, I've got my drink when we are ready to toast. I, I, I am ready. Who would like to do the honors? I'm the GM of this game. I will be making the honors. Praise to be to RBG. She was a fucking real one. And she went too soon. Prost. 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 Fuck. <sighs> Pour one out for Badu. Uh, Pour one out for Badu. Pour one out for Badu. <laughs> Four years ago and still too soon. Four okay. years ago and the poor bastard still doesn't deserve it. All right. Was that four years ago? Jesus Christ. I know, right? Dear God, <coughs> some tempore went so long. It was so good, dude. Uh, like I, I can't remember even when, what game cap was referring to maybe a bayou game and he was like oh yeah that game will will be over <laughs> soon probably like um eight more sessions or something like that and i was like man september really like <laughs> fucked with our idea of what a long game is and what a short game is <laughs> now like, we like all know year or less it's it's short <laughs> And cross my heart, hope to die, evil game part two, baby. Ooh. Yeah. Oh shit, Derek, I forgot you were there for that. Thanks for joining us. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a pity poor Mr. Good Gray time. had to die. I, I just did a whiskey shot. I don't do that stuff very often, but it felt warranted. It's drink a whiskey drink. You drink the vodka. Uh, speaking of vodka, if there's the time to drink, that's one. It's now. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you all enter the desecrated building, and uh, strangely enough, there's not much to it. Uh, but I can smell it. Right. Uh, you get to the center of the structure. And it doesn't take long before you can... You know what? Fuck it. Ooh. I like it. Bless you. Ah. Ah. Um, Ask for the silver bullets for. <laughs> uh Can the others see it or just just uh spirit? Oh Sorry. no. Everyone can see it and it's working its mojo around the entire neighborhood. And Ivan just oh. says, "Stay yeah. behind me." And Alex, you agreed to back him up. You're backing him up. And um, he lays the goober dust around <coughs> this terrible thing. It lashes out and it tries to strike him. And it certainly does wound him. And you're all able to see him for what he really is. 
when the when the, the the glamour breaks you can see the black icarus ectoplasm oozing out of his upper torso and seeping into his lower body this terrible disgusting thing it claws into him and he barely seems to notice the wounds that begin to dot his body as he begins the circuit around it until eventually the circle of goofer dust is complete. Anything I can do to protect him? Sadly, no. Uh, but when he's done, he does fall over for a minute and the glamour returns. Everybody, give me a wits and composure roll. Hmm. Will do. I'm sorry, no, wits. not wits and composure. Resolve and composure. Same roll. Wish it was the same roll. Oh, fantastic. Aha, I still got one. Resolve, resolve. Oh, three and... Nice work. <laughs> oh, kids. God damn, you all successfully resist disquiet. Yay. This terrible unnatural monster is He's nothing, our friend. Is nothing to be afraid of. Uh, after a moment he recovers. Uh, the demon struggles against its prison and fails miserably. The influence in this place is quiet. <laughs> A track of background noise disappears. <sighs> All you can is hear it... now is the sound of night. The... Is it physical enough for us to kill it now? No. You're welcome to try, but that means entering the circle. He gestures to the wounds on his body and says, I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe we can find some way to have a more permanent solution. Almost certainly. He, um, a Alex, um, you know, again puts a hand on 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 his shoulder and uh, thank you. You welcome, my lady. May I have my coat back, please? Thank you. Thank you. No place. Mm. I'll be back in a day. But until then, the mail will have to wait. Still well. And thanks again. Thank you. It's good. It feels good to be of use. And he hobbles out of the building into the night. Well, no matter what, it seems you have fulfilled the Sphinx's riddle. Will you return? I will. You go back. We may want to call an Uber. <laughs> You call an Uber to uh, Sphinx's bookshop. I would like to get a more permanent solution to that demon. Between the yeah, five, I'm nice. sure that our people have the resources to see it out. Me, me I'm currently thinking of how to explain this to the warranty people. <laughs> Actually, there are werewolves who live outside of the, uh, the city, right? There are. I wonder if I can get word to them you could that we have, a, we have a bottled up worm spawn. 
you could quite possibly, you would need to convince them that it was worth their time. They deal with a lot of things and quite frankly, um, most werewolves forsake the cities as dens of the worm. Uh, but the Sphinx's bookstore, there is a new letter waiting for you. How convenient. We take it down. And what follows is a phone number and a post office box. Victoria. Victoria was the leader then? Of the three? Or the mad one? It's unclear. He said he said that the the mad one was the one who came to him. Well if we find one of these three, I'm certain that they'll lead us to their den. I think that this is more than enough for us to go off of. And plenty for us to work on for one night. Oh. Easter, forgive I'm... me for my honesty, but you look terrible. And I feel worse than I look. <laughs> We don't know how those people are suffering. I need to get back to the hotel so that I can use my laptop to run these numbers. I'll be able to find the P.O. box. I'll be able to track the phone number. Beautiful. Until then... Let's get some rest. If it would make you feel better, Alex, you can do some groundwork. But I don't have your ability to stay up through the entire night. She she nods her head. My apologies. None needed. I will see if I can find out more. Good work tonight, all of you. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's more we should do. That's probably always going to be true. True facts. There's always more to do. But the wind is against you. Hmm. 
is that as good a place as any to put a pin in? Is anyone brave or foolhardy enough to contact Victoria? <laughs> huh? I have too many holes in my ass. Uh, Alex, Alex is tempted to do it, but uh, Yusuf has made a persuasive case that he wants to check the information out first. So she'll, she's going to go and hit the streets and see it, what else she can find. Fair enough. Of course, that, that is a bit of a justification Davy came up with, because like the, the other characters do have to sleep. <laughs> I have too many points in intelligence to make an impulsive phone call like that, Reynold. I'm sorry. Home. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> you are? I've got a report file. <laughs> Fair enough. Y'all head back to the Econolage and file your respective reports and gather your information. Uh, frankly, Reynold, uh, 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 from a role-playing perspective, after... I think the only thing I am equipped for at the moment is like it's a good thing that this happened after the fight. Otherwise, I would have, you know, most likely gone for killing Lamar and the, the others. But yeah, perfect. If this were a straight up walk into a fight situation, cool. But no, no, it's something far more sinister than that. <laughs> All right, and then. Everybody gets one experience point for showing up. Everybody gets two experience points for a fantastic session. Everybody gets three experience points for finishing a beautiful quest. Everybody gets an extra experience point for doing it without any unnecessary bloodshed. Huh. Sweet. And everybody gets an extra experience point for opening themselves up to someone terribly, terribly dangerous. <laughs> Next week, I just have to wonder who's going to make that call? Who's going to send that text? I'm pretty good at persuasion, so I probably will. God fucking speed. <laughs>